In this Rhino video, I'll be showing you how to model this simple stool. I'll be using Rhino 7, and this render was done with Modo. So basically, we'll do this, and I'll show you how to make it into polygon like this. Let's get started. In the top view, I'll use a rectangle, center, zero, enter, and round it. So now we have this curve, and to make it a surface, we use the common planar surf. Now I can get rid of the curve, and if we press F10, or click here, uh, we can see that we only have four points. So to get more points, I'll go Escape reselect the surface and use the command rebuild and here uh, Rhino is telling us that there's two and two uh, U and V is like X and Y is the direction and how many do we so this is what's in the scene and we want six and six so now if I show the point I have more points so there's few ways we can tweak the point one uh, easy way is to select those points shift click like this if by mistake you select the surface you can control click to deselect and using the square we can scale them a little bit in. we could also square square scale them like this if we want that might look a bit nicer uh, we could do the same here so by scaling it's almost using a symmetry mode um, voila we can also select all of those, rotate them using the green, and move them down a little bit. We can do the same on the back, and rotate the other way. We could select the center, move them up or down, it's up to you. And to hide the point, I'll go Escape, twice. Ctrl Shift E to center the piece. Now that it's a surface, it's very easy to tweak. But I'm happy with the result, so I'll go extrude CRV, extrude curve, to make it 3D. Uh, excuse me. Offset surf. Okay, it's not a curve, it's a surface. So offset SRF. Offset surf. The direction. I usually like to uh, go out, that's good. Uh, distance 1 is 1 square on the grid. Yeah, around 1 should be alright. And loose is important to have it on, so the next copy has the same number of lines. And solid, because I want a solid. Right click. Voila. So now you, you cannot show the point. You can still do boolean and uh, tweak it more, but uh, you'll have to go back to the surface or use a cage edit if you need to tweak the point. But now that it's a surf, uh, solid, there's a lot of advantages. We could do um, chamfer edge. I'll make it a bit smaller, like 0.25. And we can select all of them. Enter, enter. And now we've got the edge chamfer. To do the um, feet, uh, quite a few ways you could do them. Uh, one way would just be to use a curve, the curve command like this. Press Alt so you don't know snap. So you could just draw them like this and do a pipe. Or, might be a bit more precise, line or polyline. Draw one line like this. Uh, you could mirror it. Mirror from, let's say here. Hold Shift. Draw another line. It could be this one or this one. It doesn't matter. Like this and we can use the fillet command, the regular fillet, and we'll uh, increase the radius to three here and there. Right click to redo it here and there, 
and you might have to join all of them. Here they are joined, but if they were not joined, you select all of them and you go Control J to join. Then we can do a pipe, and we can do here quite thin. We can press Alt so it doesn't snap. That's a bit too thin. We could also type huh, the value. And we can, don't need the curve anymore. We can then move this. If it's a render, you can just put it on top. And uh, move it back. And do this. And then go mirror again. And here we can go zero. Hold shift. That's it. We're done. Um, if you want to take this to Modo or uh, 3ds Max for rendering, you can run a command called quad remesh. And uh, here I don't need too much, maybe 1200. And it will do a polygon out of it, made of quad. And it's really nice because you can actually. Uh, and bring this into Modo, and you'll do the same for those one. And what's good is that if you bring this into Modo, yes, you can do rendering, but you could still tweak it. You could do sculpting and many other things. Voila, hope you enjoyed it.